it's, a, it's one of those 20th century pieces that you just really enjoy, and you have all the colors of the voice, and you have all the colors of the uh, drama in it, mm -hmm. and to work with uh, this orchestra that been incredibly welcoming. That's not always the way it is, you know, wherever a singer goes, okay. <laughs> but it's uh, it has been here. And did you, did you have to practice a lot because it, it, it was, you know, quite a late call to come? Yes. Was it a bit stressy? I, well, not really, because once you learn a piece like this, you never forget it. Okay. <laughs> and for me, it was, um, I mean, I didn't have, it was a no-brainer. I didn't have to think about it. I wanted really to do this and with Sir Roger Norrington. Mm -hmm. And um, so when they asked me to do it, I of course thought, well, I better get cracking on it. I better really uh, get that score going. <laughs> so Roger's a legend. In, in, in Britain, he did a show a few years ago called Maestro. And we're very much, we like to interact with people out there. People don't normally come to a concert. Yes. We like to try and show them. And he did this thing at my show, one of the big rock type scenario where the winner gets voted out or voted in to conduct a concert of arms. So we're very lucky with Sir Roger that he's not just a great musician, but he's also very aware of this. Uh, yeah, and the chat now. Yes, but not only that, Sir Roger is um, somebody who makes the singer and the audience and the orchestra feel calm, feel good about what they're doing. And he says, if you're not having fun doing it, then why do it? Yeah. And that's my motto. Yeah, I quite agree with that. It's yeah. going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But that was so. a lot of fun. I'm sure the viewers would enjoy it. I you hope so. Anything coming up that you'd like to sort of recommend to people where they should go and see? Well, yes. Um, the only problem with my uh, telling people where I'm singing is I never keep the dates in my head. But one in particular, uh, they can always go to my website, jenniferlarmormezzo.com. And they can find my uh, my schedule there. But I'm going to be doing Lady Macbeth again in the day of the Macbeth, and uh, that is in Bologna. In I uh, start the rehearsals in January, and we have uh, the performances in the Bologna Theatre in February, and then again in March, uh, two performances in Reggio Emilia. Right. So it's nice to go back to Italy again. And to sing something like that. I mean, they make crucify me, an American singing Verdi in Italian, in Italy. Yeah, but you know, I'm going to give it my best shot. Yeah, that's one to look out for. Anything? Are you coming back to Switzerland soon? Yeah, I was just in Geneva, actually. I was doing um, the Lady Macbeth <laughs> in a fantastic production of Crystal Floyd, and uh, enjoyed that so much. Every minute of it. Enjoyed. And I'll be coming back to Geneva, but not for a couple of years. And I'll be doing the day of uh, Cherubini, also with Crystal. Oh, very nice. Looking very forward to that. And do you live in America or do you live in Europe? No, how, how I live in it? Paris. Oh, you live in Paris? Yeah, I've lived in Paris for four years now. Okay, and that's perfectly professional because you like it. Well, I, about five years ago, I got divorced, and then I decided, where do I want to live? I asked myself, where do I want to live? when I met my current uh, fiancé, and uh, we decided, let's go to Paris. Yeah. You know, it's, it's incredible when you have, you have that kind of freedom just to decide where you want to go. You could go anywhere you want. And for singers, it doesn't matter where we are as long as there's a, an airport. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, it's the modern age, isn't it? Uh, exactly. So we decided, let's just go to Paris. <laughs> That's brilliant, yeah? Yeah. It's great. I really, really do enjoy living here. Thanks very much, Jennifer. See you Thank again you. soon.